Hey everyone, I am back for another designer haul. Now a couple of weeks ago I did um I did a vlog and it was with my husband and it was the one where we went to Dior and he picked out my outfit for me. And I've had loads of you saying, what did you buy? What did you get we wanna see? So I'm gonna show you the things that I bought. I pretty much bought, pretty much bought a full outfit and a lot of it is new and this is another reason why I wanted to do this video is because I know a lot of you wanna know what's new, what's out. I'm gonna try and link to everything below I'm also going to link to my outfit and I'll put all of the details below and this shirt I bought this with a coupon that I got sent in a newsletter that I think is still valid. So I got into Dior on this particular day with David my husband and the plan wasn't really to to buy anything it was just having a look round and while I was there I cut like it's kind of annoying really because when I was there all of the spring collection was out and it is it's just colors that I love I really like this certain shade of pink that I'm going to show you in a minute where it's not Barbie and it's not quite pastel it's kind of a color that I feel universally suits everyone because you know I find if I wear pastel colors it really washes me out but this although it although it's pastel it's like pink with a tiny hint of yellow undertones you'll see what I mean in a minute First item is this, my most favorite shoes ever from Dior. How pretty are these shoes? Now, I know some of you might be saying, why would you buy those? You already have these in the lower heeled version. And it's true, I do. Well, I used to, I actually sold them last month. And then I kind of actually recently, as we've been going through to spring, I've been, I reached for them the other day and I was like, oh yeah, I sold them, that's really annoying. So I went back and I bought another pair, but these are different. These have got the higher heel on them. They also have got uh, the Jadior in crystals as opposed to gold studs. And they have got, um, they've got that fabric where all of the dots, these are tiny bits of velvet. And I think they're quite pretty on. I might regret getting the higher heel. The the one thing I can say about these, regardless of the heel height, if you want something that's actually quite comfortable, they're really good, despite the fact that they're pointy. However, if you get the ones where the toe bit is patent leather, they are really not comfortable. I owned those a couple of years ago and they hurt so badly because they, there's no give in them whatsoever and they really, really pinch. The low heeled ones that I had, I used to wear them a lot in the day um they were just very comfortable in terms of size i got a 39 and a half and i normally take a 40 in designer shoes but if you're gonna go and get these for yourself the size kind of changes depending on the, sh the shoe material so there was another pair there that i tried on that had a slightly different material on them and they came up large and then these one no they came up small these ones came up large so i went down half a size these were around about 900 pounds but i got them for a 300 pounds discount because i had um rewards points to use with harrods that i didn't even know that i had so with the rewards points they actually work out really handy because um you you spend money and then I think you get two points for every pound that you spend. That's the first item that makes this outfit just look amazing. The second is in here. This is something that I've wanted since last autumn and I tried to get it at the time but I couldn't because it had sold out worldwide in this particular colorway. And also, also I really wanted to think about it. Um, it it's this belt by the way. Now, when you look at it like that, it really doesn't look like anything special, I don't think, anyway. But here's the thing. With the stuff that I buy, I only, it's very, very rare that I will go in somewhere and just buy something, if it's designer. Because the stuff costs a lot of money and I really like to think about it and know that I'm buying something that I really like. So for the most part, with the things that I own, you guys know this, for example, with the Louis Vuitton bag that I bought in San Moritz, which I actually just have next to me, it's this one. This was on my list, my wish list since 
January 2017 and then I only bought it in February 2019 and that's a long time to think about something but that's kind of that's kind of what I do so I, it's very rare that I'll ever just walk in and buy something and that was how I felt about this when I saw it last year the first time I saw it I really like it because although it's got a D on it it doesn't scream Dior it doesn't have like Dior written across it but the other thing that I liked is the way I was seeing people style it. And before I bought this, I bought a belt from Zara that I, I, cause I wanted to get something that I could figure out if I like it before I actually go and buy it. And the version from Zara didn't have a letter on it or anything. It just had like a metal heart, but the quality wasn't so good. And whenever I was wearing it, the um, like the loop bit that holds the end, there wasn't one, so it, the end like flapped about and I thought it was just mine was faulty, but actually none of them came with that. But anyway, I digress. I really feel like it really does work. Maybe not over this outfit. How's this looking? Oh, do you know what? This, this doesn't look, I need to like figure this out. I really feel that over many outfits, this looks quite good. This was about 700 pounds. Yeah, 700. The leather is so soft. I feel like this is lamb. And then the loop holes are there. And you can get this in two widths. This is the larger one and you can get a narrower one, I think. The following item I didn't buy on the same day, but I bought it last week. And I got it when I went to Geneva and it's this. I put this on my Instagram stories at the time when I bought it. Um, I've lost track. Oh yeah, so this is basically a, like a scarf, a stole thing, like a cape thing. It's quite large. Um, as you can see there. Reason why I want to show you this, apart from the fact that I think it's really quite nice. So it's got the Dior thing there and it's got that deal pattern on it. This was around about 300 pounds, so the I, I've noticed that designer goods in Switzerland are a tiny bit less than they are in the UK, and I feel like at the moment the UK is probably one of the cheapest places on earth at the moment that you can buy designer goods because of the strength of the pound as well. Um, but anyway, yeah, it was a bit cheaper there. You could get this, you could get this in a few different colours. I saw it in navy, black, beige, like a nudie colour, and then this, which is like a lilac, which I, I really like the look of this. And I wanted to mention it because the other scarves there, what I didn't understand is there was other scarves just like this that had the canage pattern on it. They were like seven or eight hundred pounds. And then there was this one, which is just as big, different pattern, and it was like 300. And I was like, what? And then the final item is in here. It is what loads of you were saying to me. Did you get it? It is that blazer. This is the Dior bar jacket. In case you're thinking, what is the Dior bar jacket? This is a really classic shape that they always do. They bring it out spring and summer, but they will do it in different materials, different fabrics, uh, different colors. And, they, and it's kind of, if you imagine, it's a bit like the Balmain blazers. You know where they have them winter and summer, and in the summer they're kind of in lighter materials, and in the winter they're like wool. Same kind of deal with this, really. And I've always liked it. I like the silhouette shape of it. I'm gonna show you now, actually. I'll try it on while you're here. I've always quite liked it, but I never bought it because I never, I never really saw it in the color that I loved. And I always thought, well, I know you're always gonna do it. So, um, you know, if the need arises, then I will. The new spring summer collection in Dior is all based on a, like ballerina theme. So all of the colors, you know what I was saying earlier about this actually does look pastel on there, but in real life, I've actually got, the problem is I've got artificial light going here. So it doesn't look the way it is. This is it. And personally, I love this. It's got pockets on the side of it here. As mentioned, you can get this in many different colors. This is a color for the spring summer collection. When I first went in and tried it on, they didn't have my size and they had one in Paris, I think they said, and they managed to bring it over. And the they were phoning me actually when it came over because they were like, do you definitely want it? Because there's people 
from Europe phoning up saying that they want it and I was like, I definitely want it, like hands off. I've got this on with leather, well actually these are faux leather trousers that I just got from Zara, but this is, this is the way that I would personally wear this because I quite like mixing pale pink with black leather, it's kind of like edgy and soft at the same time. I had a lot of you asking if I bought the matte black Dior, Lady Dior bag. Beautiful bag, but no I didn't. I didn't get it because although it's really, really pretty and really unique, um, at the moment we're doing loads of home improvements and I thought, I know you're going to be like, well you spent this money on this, why not that? Yeah, well, I didn't get it because it was nearly £3,000. And I thought, well, that's £3,000 for the home improvements. So that's why I didn't. And I thought, I'm just going to stop with what I've got already. But my husband is an enabler. He was like, you should have got that. It's like one of a kind. I've never seen anything like it. For the size, I always take, pretty much I always take a size 38 in Dior, which is a UK 10, which is, I think, a US 6. Yes, I think that's right. No, is it? Eight, a US eight. That's always what I take. And do you see what I mean about the fabric of this? It's kind of more, that it's like, it's got a nude mixed in with the pink that makes it, it's, it's that kind of classic ballerina color, isn't it? As opposed to it being really overtly pastel -y, girly pink. Mm -hmm. 